Okay, we'll look at some of the homework problems that are in section 11-1. Now here we're going to use this figure at the that you see on this video here to complete the following problems. Okay, the first problem is CD and GH are what type of lines? Alright, let's look at CD. Here's CD up here and here's GH down here. In this case CD and GH are in the same plane, but those two are not intersecting each other. So in this case here, we can say that CD and GH are considered to be parallel lines. Okay, so we'll select B for parallel lines. All right, the next problem, or the next question in problem number one is the intersection of planes DCG and EFG is what? All right, let's look at DCG. Here's D, here's C, that's G. That's this plane on the right-hand side. And then we look at EFG. Here's E, here's F, and here's G. That's the plane at the very bottom. Now, the intersection of those two, now you're given a choice of answers, either GH, the empty set, EF, or DC. In this case here, this plane, which is C. DCG and this plane at the bottom EFG its intersection would be simply GH. So here GH would be the intersection of plane DCG and plane EFG. At right, the next problem, plane DCG and which plane or which uh, line segment are perpendicular. In this case here, if we look at the figure here, we look at plane DCG. That's this plane here on the right hand side. Now we're going to have to look at plane EAB. Here's EAB. And that's going to be this plane on the left hand side. Those two are not perpendicular. They're actually parallel. And then plane FBD Here's F, here's B, and this is D. Now this is the plane that's diagonal. Here, those are not perpen that's not perpendicular to plane DCG. Now what about plane ADH? Here's ADH. That's this plane that's in front, and it is perpendicular to DCG. So here plane ADH would be perpendicular to DCG. Okay, problem number two looks like this. Here you're going to use the pyramid at the right that you see here to answer the following questions. Where it says that which of the following is the intersection of CD and AD? Okay, here's CD back here, and here's AD right here. The intersection of those two is a point, which is in this case point D. So D would be the intersection of CD and AD. Okay, the next problem, which is the following, is the intersection of planes CDE, ADE, and ABC. Okay, let's see. CDE is this triangle that's behind this pyramid. And then ADE is this triangle that's on the left hand side of that pyramid. And ABC is the plane that's at the bottom. Now, if you look at the intersection of those two, of those three, CDE, ADE, and ABC, which is plane ABC, which is at the bottom, they all intersect at a common point, which is D. So, plane D would be the intersection of plane C, D, E, A, D, E, and A, B, C. And then the next question, number two, what type of lines are A, B, and B, C? Is it skew, intersecting, or parallel? All right, let's look at A, B. Here's A, B, and here's B, C. A, B, and B, C intersect at point B, so that means that Lines A, B, and B, C are going to be called intersecting lines. 
Okay. Let's take a look at the next problem. Now this one, this one deals with uh, angles. Now here we're going to use calculator to do this type of problem. I'm going to show you how that's done. Here we want to add 32 degrees, 18 minutes, 38 seconds, and 10 minutes, 45 degrees, 18 seconds. Use, and we're going to use the calculator to do this. I'm going to show you how to use the TI-83 or the 84, whichever you have. All right, to enter 32 degrees, 18 minutes, and 38 seconds, we're going to type in 32. And then here we're going to select the second key and then apps because we want to get the angle menu because it is an angle that we're dealing with so we hit second and apps and you're going to get this menu which says angle and then number one has the degree so you select number one and then you have 18 minutes so you have 18 and then again you're going to press second and then apps to get this menu again that's 18 minutes, so here this time you want to select number two. Now for the 38 seconds, it's going to be different. So here we're going to type in 38. And then this time to get the minutes, which is, if you look at the plus key, it's in green, which is the minutes. So you want to press alpha and then plus for the minutes. Okay. For the degrees and the minutes, for the degrees and the minutes, you always use second apps. But for the seconds, you have to press alpha plus. That's the difference. Okay, and then plus, because it is an addition problem. This time, 10 minutes, 45 degrees, 18 seconds. All right, done the same way. 10, and then second apps. Then select number one for your degrees. 45 minutes will be 45, and then second, and apps, and then select number two. And then 18 minutes, I mean 18 seconds, that'd be 18, this time, alpha plus. Okay. Once you have that done, go ahead and press enter. Now you're going to get the decimal amount in degrees, but you want to express that in degrees, minutes, and seconds as they require for that answer. Well, to do that, we're going to press second and apps for the angle. Now, this time we're going to select number four, which is DMS. That's degrees, minutes, and seconds. So you select number four and then hit enter, which is in this case 43 degrees, three minutes, 56 seconds. So that sum is just going to be 43 degrees, three minutes, 56 seconds. Okay. All right. And this other problem says to express without a decimal at 66.66 degrees. Okay. Here we can do that using a calculator. Now we're just going to type in just 66.66. We're not going to use the degrees. Just 66.66. And then you're going to press second and apps. Now we're converting it to degrees, minutes, and seconds, so we want to select number four. And then hit enter. And it will convert that into degrees, minutes, and seconds automatically. So it's 66 degrees, 39 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay, so 66.66 degrees will be 66 degrees, 39 minutes, 36 seconds.